Hi, I'm Brida from BDT and this is Malik Murtaza Khan. He is a youth activist. I really want to, I really want the youth of Pakistan to stand up and, and especially speak up because we've been quiet since day one. Hi, I'm Brida from BDT and this is Malik Murtaza Khan. He is a youth activist and we are here to speak to him about this movement that he has, uh, that he has in mind for the youth that's going to help him empower them, honestly, right? Yeah. So, what do you think, you know, the, what is the role that the youth can play in what you want to do? What is it that you want to do first and what role do you think that the youth will play in that? Well, um, I really want to, I really want the youth of Pakistan to stand up and, and especially speak up because we've been quiet since day one and uh, we've taken dictations from everybody in every walk of life, whether it's politics, media, industry or anything, you name it. And why I think the youth should wake up because we are 68% and the 68% of the youth of Pakistan is the real driving force which can take Pakistan into the right direction because if you don't tap onto the youth and if you don't do something for the younger generation of Pakistan, Pakistan will be a country which will not be able to survive in the international market. But I, I do need to ask you this, um, what role is it that the youth can play in, in themselves being empowered? Because I think that everybody has to make their own effort, you know, right. and you are one man and you can only do so much, but right. the youth has to work with you. What role is it that you think that the youth can play in this whole thing? Well, it actually depends because I, it's a 50-50 scenario at the moment. Um, you're very right that I'm a one person and one person cannot bring about the change drastically. It has to be like a bunch of people, like proper movement. But again, it's the duty of the state. It's the sole duty of the state to help the younger generation. Because if you can't provide quality education, for example, in Sindh only, there are 745 go schools. So the government takes the money, they make the building, but there's nobody studying in the school. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are teachers, they just take the pay and they don't go to the schools. Now, if you're not investing on the younger person, on the younger generation of artists, then you've given them a blank check. So they can tread onto the negative lines. They can become extremists, they can go into the radical style because they don't have any sense of belonging. Mm -hmm. That's what I think, for example, um, the other day I was sitting with my father and I was talking to him. I said, Baba, when you were young, you want to go outside Pakistan and do knockery there or you know make a house there. He said no. <laughs> but for example, if you ask somebody now, if he's not even graduated, you ask them that what will you do? Oh, I'll go to America, I'll go to England. Yeah. So if everybody thinks like that, then Pakistan will just become a graveyard for the younger generation of Pakistan. I completely agree, but I I mean, I know that the state is to blame in one way, but I'm sure it's it's not really just only the state to blame. Who else do you think is to blame for the state of things right now? For the, for the, for the position of this? Yeah, but you know, this hal mein is what hai hamari use, where they have no real space to speak up. They have no platform, to, you know, which speaks for them. Right. Who else do you think is to blame? Oh. Um, well, I'm trying. I'm trying to do it. But uh, the thing is that the youth of Pakistan really, again, they, they don't have a way. Because seriously, it's very easy to say that, okay, let me give you an example. A kid graduates, okay, he goes for a job. How much will he fetch? 60k, 70,000, max, max. right? The commute, mm. the food, and everything. He has no savings. No, none. So he can't really invest. So mm. he's in a rat race. That person, he or she is in a rat race. Wake up at 9 in the morning, go home at 5 p.m. and that's it. That's the life. Mm -hmm. Now, that cannot continue for long. Yeah, and it's not really... um like uh, It's not even feasible. Yeah, it's not uh, helpful for them to grow even. Exactly. So when they can't grow, they won't have a future. Exactly. When you don't have a promising future, 
you tend to again tread on negative lines like you become radicalized for example we've seen young kids who become very radical these days yeah very radical right um i also wanted to ask you this um you say that the youth is a little frustrated and um neglected how what can we do for the youth that would change that as a society i, I think the first the first thing that we should do is that that society should own the youth the younger generation of ours how how I'll, I'll, i'll tell you an example um on a saturday what's there for the younger generation of pakistan go watch a movie or go eat that's it in a cinema there are no public places mm-hmm. where you can go and do exhibitions for example we saw at fair hall when uh, missing persons cooper there was an art exhibition mm-hmm. now why was it stopped people were expressing themselves mm-hmm. and art is a medium to express yourself now if you're stopping the youth on the first expressing themselves yeah, on the very first step you're suppressing them you're suppressing them and you cannot suppress anybody all the time because it's it, it becomes like a boiling point yeah one day or the other they will get up and they'll get up and they'll, they'll shout they'll say you know it's this like is it's like a spring you know the harder you yank on it the higher it will bounce yeah but then that threshold level also there's a threshold mm-hmm. level everyone's teaspoon is not the same yeah, size yeah exactly so i personally think that you know that we should engage the youth in society mm-hmm. whether it's politics whether it's uh, society on whether it's business medium of expression any maybe. platform yeah. any platform I'm, you know the worst part is that um, in pakistan that people talk about giving in um, empowering the younger generation of pakistan but who are those people they just the mere optics and theater you understand like it's a pitch mm-hmm. for example i'm not going to name a political party because i have to be politically cautious yeah. uh, in the last general elections everybody was harping and ranting about the younger generation of pakistan the younger generation of pakistan mm-hmm. what happened i have seen everything in 16 14 months mm-hmm. nobody is right. there's who's the ambassador of youth of pakistan mm-hmm. you have a point there you, you really do but like i understand that you want to you know engage the youth and i think there were some avenues mm-hmm. some time ago that have stopped because they were run by the youth Yes. and made by the youth and since right. they don't have the experience for it it was not sustained well mm-hmm. we need somebody more um, experienced and more able to sustain those things yeah sustainability is very important mm-hmm. because you see it's not a one day's cup of tea right it will take time mm-hmm. and not again not many people have the threshold log kya karte hain actually wo bolte hain nahi ho raha nahi ho payega chhod do rehne do we need to get out of this because nobody else will take us there we yeah, have to do it ourselves also for that we need some people who are actually there as mentors yeah. you know who will teach the youth how to sustain that you know that platform for yeah. their expression and their and their speech you know in a organized way mm-hmm. because the youth yes they have a lot of you know um energy and yes. ideas but yes. they don't know how to focus Challenged. that yeah yeah You see again, because there is nobody to guide the younger generation of Pakistan. Mm. So the energy, as you said, it's like on high altitudes, yeah, and it's misdirected. Yeah. Now that is a wastage. Okay, you you'll see a brilliant artist who's working in an MNC. Mm. Baba, why are you working in an MNC? <laughs> right? Again, if consistent, if the youth becomes consistent, mm. right, and they become critical thinkers, leaders. that's what i say because again i'll take you in our parents time era um, all the young politi- all the politicians of pakistan all of them graduated from ku mm. and now they're sitting in the assemblies mm. right now ku on one side karachi university you've got iba you've got zabist you've got cbm name one politician had that that has come out of these institutions can't right i think hardly one just most one or two them, most of that's them not even really 0.1% yeah as so you said. that leads leads us to what engagement the, again the main problem of pakistan is that nobody is engaging the youth who will people like you and me now for example social media why is social media booming in pakistan you tell me i'll tell you 
again i'll take you back to the elections when the elections were taking place the younger generation of pakistan became politically active agreed on social media yeah on social media agreed. that's their medium of expression right yeah now. nobody could stop them express from express in the sense not against the law no agreed that there is there is polarization there is mm-hmm. clear divide mm-hmm. between aap isko support karte ho main isko support karta hu whether it's politics or anything mm-hmm. but on social media you will see they're very active they're very verbal right right now why can't you get out of in the field and do it because i think no one really makes them feel like it's okay to speak up but then again you, you, and you also are, you know have to see the fact that where we live right now is a very volatile environment right where something horrible is happening every other day yes so whenever somebody feels like oh you know what aaj i want to do this right and then like so many so many aspects you know fall short or go south that they're not able to do it and their motivation really just goes away exactly i agree to it um you might have heard about the recent case of nimrata mm-hmm. the girl who was uh, mm-hmm. I, i don't know i really don't know i don't know whether i should say about the case but we all know what's this history yeah what happened about her no justice yet mm-hmm. and she was one of us she was a very young girl right couple of people from the civil society are doing protests there was a protest day before yesterday and yesterday as well near uh, clifton old yeah. gardens but again you just do the protest and, and you then, go then home right and then the officials they come with a press conference they do a press conference and then they leave now we seriously need people who can take the youth out of their houses give them a platform to speak Where okay we find this you don't have to find these people <laughs> you're here i'm here the team is here they can do it in in any aspect it's not they can it's not necessary that it has to be political mm. okay you can support somebody as as a critical thinker as a good speaker as as an artist because ye sari cheezon ke bagair the country can't go up right like for yeah, example so china se hat ke bhi i think we need to just you know bring the youth out and make them feel like it's okay to talk about what exactly you exactly because I, i hear you yeah because if if we we'll stay quiet and mum like that then why do we have Nothing to change yeah, yeah status quo rahega to kuch bhi nahi batega ha i i think the real strength of pakistan is the younger generation of pakistan i i think you actually and if, we, and if we do not focus on them after 10 15 years going to be a bit failures we will be, we'll be a complete failed nation exactly i i i agree with that so what would you say to the youth right now who's watching you i would just like to say three things believe in yourself stand up for your rights mm-hmm. and stop being quiet because again speak up. speak up if you if you're not there and if you do not do a protest for about for your own rights who's going to do it for you nobody is going to do it for you you heard him speak up people and that's it with um our youth activist right here and i think what all, all the things that he had to say really are are all the things that we we are already aware of and i think that him focusing on this is a really good move nice going thank you thank you it's nice to meet you and nice i think we too. will we, we will be seeing you again soon hopefully sure, sure. cool perfect bye guys